Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix something that most of us have had this problem. It's really annoying down here. Poop. Check this out. Getting that in there? Mm hmm. Who, who has ever had this problem? Ain't that a pain? Well, what happens is down inside here is those plastic things that hold, they just clip in, they're plastic. I'm going to show you how to fix that today with these things. I ordered these off eBay. They were seven bucks for ten of them. Um, most of the time you can get these for certain cars at the parts store. They're real cheap, but for this application on this Buick and I think some Cadillacs and Pontiacs have the same, they're a little different. And I was only able to find them on online because the uh, other kinds like for Ford and uh, Mazda and all them of course uh, they wouldn't work right they just kept popping out these have a special end in them that have to go inside the door and then this has to go into them now you're gonna need a tool a lot of guys you can use screwdrivers if you're really careful but uh, I recommend getting this tool here for like for ones that are not stuck looks like this on the end of it I think this was less than five bucks wasn't it mm -hmm. this one's autocraft so it's cheap but uh, it's not like you're gonna be prying on steel where it's gonna bend and screw up on you we've used this on several different applications and uh, it works fine there's all different kinds of like I said you can use screwdrivers but I'd recommend using one of these so what I'm gonna do is since this is not I mean, it's just pretty well shot. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off for you right now. So, there's one stuck right there that's still good. So I'm going to take my tool. Make sure you get in here. Come around here or whatever you got to do so they can see this. And I'm going to find out where that, where it's at. And you can usually feel. So I'm going to look in there. And I can see it's right back behind there. What you want to do... Is get it pop it like that just like that what that tool does I'll show you right here man. what that tool does is it gets right in between there and the door and it pops that out so this will have to be popped out which I'll probably have to push this in and then pop it out but anyway so there's that so let's see if we can get this door panel off be very careful on some of these like this Buick you've got all these electronics here that you have to be careful of you don't want to rip them out so you want to make sure this has got one in it too but this one usually will pop out with your hand like that so just set this down and if it's a real nice car I would recommend putting something down there so you don't scratch your bottom of your door panel. Uh, it's an old car, our car, so we're not worried about that getting a little dirty. So what we're going to have to do now is, as you can see down here on these, down here, on these right here, that is that piece that goes in there. So what I'm gonna have to do is put these in here and then to pop in order to pop this off. I don't know why they do that, probably to keep them from getting loose, but and then I'll have to pull it back out like that. Now you got this ready. Now what you're gonna wanna do is on these here, you can see these are broke. That one's still good, but see that's gray. I'm guessing that's been replaced at one time. But so you wanna take the old one, all it does is clip out it just slides right out and then you slide the new ones back in just like that now I'm going to get this ready and once I get it ready I'll show you how to line that up and put it on real easy and I'll be uh, right back with you okay YouTube uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to put this door back on now what I didn't mention to you is the reason why I popped this one off because this light, but on these Buicks, this light has to come out. There's a screw right, right behind here. 
there'll be a Phillips screw right behind there and that will go into this plastic grommet right here come around right there and that's where that'll go so make sure you check that before you yank it off mine was already out of there that's why I went ahead and yank, yank it off so what we're going to do is right through here you'll see this piece of steel and this piece of steel has to go right down in that groove there as you can see this is messed up it's been messed up for a while it was actually messed up when we got the car but first we got to put our door handle through this hole like this and then lift it up and what we're going to do is make sure let me roll this window down guys That way I can see it better. What we're going to want to do is make sure, come up here a minute. Maybe around here. You want to make sure that metal piece right there gets clipped down in, it'll be, let me see that for a second. What you're going to want to do is that metal strip right here has to be down into that strip right in there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pop it you might have to finagle it a little bit but it's like anything else it can be it can be troublesome at times but this one should be fairly easy and then once you get that lined up and your shirts lined up bump it with your hand and it'll pop right down in there and as you can see it will now no longer come off okay now these self-explanatory right in here as you can see most of these can you see them hun mm -hmm. okay most of these are going to line up all these are mostly going to line up on their own but you still want to go around and check because if they're not lined up what's going to happen is when you go to pop that on with your hand it's going to snap that off so this takes eight of them i went ahead and bought ten so uh before you order them maybe count see how many you got uh maybe go online see if there's anything online it's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so i've got two extra in case they break again because uh, a lot of times these door panels will have to come off somebody maybe had a uh, problem with the window regulator makes the window go up and down had to replace it who knows but this when we bought the car this this door panel was not on here right to begin with so when i took it off and fixed it there was already a couple broken ones well closing the door slamming the door whatnot the other ones are going to break eventually cold they're just plastic plastic grommets so then what you do once you get them lined up like this top one, I can see is lined up. Hit it with your hand. Bottom one's lined up. Hit it with your hand. And you do that all the way around here. Make sure you can feel under here with your fingers. There's one. Pop it in. And there you go. Now this little doohickey here. See, it's got a different one. It's got one of them ones I was talking about you can find real easy at any parts store. This one's getting kind of messed up. Um, my buddy's got a bunch of them anyway but I'll probably go get a pack of those just to have for these because you never know how many times you're going to have to take this door panel off and there's a little hole and that's all that holds this little it's a tweeter it's not actually a speaker the speaker was down here as you've seen and then just pop it in and there you go and then that all that's left is and I'm guessing There it is. Thought I lost the screw. All that's left is that hole right there where the light goes. Can you see it okay? No, it's I think it's too dark. Okay, well anyway, that, that little hole I showed you, you can see it real easy with your eyes. Just get a screwdriver and put that screw in. 
and put that screw in and that's all there is to to putting those little uh, door fasteners in um, like I said they're cheap I got them offline uh, most cars like I say take them little cheap ones uh, this is a heavy door panel um, it's got a lot of switches and stuff on it so uh, and Buicks and Olds's Cadillacs Pontiacs they're made pretty stout and pretty solid so but uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put that screw in and then I'm gonna show you how to change your gas cap on one of these vehicles so stay tuned hi right, YouTube we're gonna show you how to change your gas cap it's pretty simple uh, what you do is come over here of course open this up there's your gas cap now the reason why we're changing this one is because uh, every once in a while we get a check engine light that comes on saying the gas cap's loose now what you want to do when you go buy a gas cap make sure you get it for your automobile because if you get a different one the gasket may, may be different or something you may have the same problem keep getting getting your code brought up that your gas cap's loose uh, but now this was what 12 bucks huh yes this was 12 bucks in advance it's a little different it don't it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the uh, plastic holder thing on it um, I think I can get it to fit on here but if not if you can't just take your little tool that you used for your door panel and pop that off it's no big deal I like them because you don't have to worry about losing your your gas cap but what I'm gonna do show you how to pop this off of here get right in there and pop that off all the way around there like that now like I said you can just pop it off here you don't need this I just like to have them because Pooh Bear's a little forgetful now this was bought for a 2000 Buick and there's the gasket right in here that's the rubber gasket so it should seal around here you want to make sure it's nice and clean so and then what you do another thing when you put these on folks what they want you to do is go past three clicks so, that that makes them tight so there you go nothing to that just a little simple thing but they're just a couple minute thing on the card we spent about 15 minutes on it just uh, little cheap things that you can do yourself at home. Don't pay somebody 50 bucks to put them door grommets in. It's not worth it. You can do it yourself. Uh, you don't even be, have to be mechanical. Just it's self-explanatory. There's a piece like this. It could, there's a piece this long. It goes in a hole. We all know how to do that. <laughs> so, um, Pooh Bear, you're blushing. <laughs> but anyway, that's what you got to do. So. There you go, just a quick little tip and trick. So, we're going to get out of here and uh, Boo Bear? Boo Bear, I'm out. Shea Bear, I'm gone.